Hey everybody, it's Bob with DITV. I'm sitting here in the DITV studio with Steve Perelgott. And Steve is actually with IBM, and IBM sponsors DITV, so we're really glad to have you here, Steve. Thanks <laughs> for coming by. Glad to be here. And so, could you tell me a little bit about what you do with IBM? I am what's called the Senior Manager for Academic Relations for IBM in Canada. I work with all levels of academia, and mostly post-secondary, and we deal with things like supporting research collaborations, uh, recruiting, looking for top talent, uh, developing innovative thinking, which is part of the reason I'm here, and also the usual things like selling and you know servicing and, and all the things companies do. Well, that's great. And so you're visiting Global Finals for the first time here. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me a little bit about your experience so far? What have you seen? What, what, what are you thinking? It's awesome. I'm afraid, I have to say I'm sorry I missed the opening ceremonies because it sounds like that was amazing. But since then I've been around, I've seen a number of the challenges performed got to participate in an instant challenge so I had a little bit of fun with that. Um, the other one was uh, we got over to the uh, passport event also. So got to see all the different countries and all the different participants and, and again the, just the row of flags is impressive. Definitely and what, what are you trying to get at when you say innovation and what are you seeing in DI? Well IBM technology company so focus on technology the rate of change of technology is accelerating. So it's not just as getting faster, but it, it's getting faster, faster. And, and so, you know, everybody got a smartphone in a pocket. Nobody had a smartphone 10 years ago. Hardly anybody did five years ago. Everybody is going to have them in five years. IBM is very big now in cognitive apps, things that think for you, that, that provide you with well-informed, well-developed answers. Um, what do you do with that? I mean, that didn't exist when the students that are developing solutions using, I'll, I'll stay with cognitive, with cognitive apps. Um, we have a cognitive chef, Chef Watson, that comes up with new recipes. Um, how does anybody in a culinary school who's graduating, that didn't exist when they started school, it's, they don't have access to that technology, but in two years all the new recipes are going to involve some element of a cognitive app helping you decide you want uh, Peruvian potatoes to make your poutine because they come up with the right texture. Who knew? Poutine is potatoes and gravy and cheese curd, if you don't know what it is. It's a very French-Canadian thing. Uh, but it turns out you don't need the right, you don't need the regular potatoes. I mean, Canada is potato country, right? It's, you don't need regular potatoes. Uh, you don't need uh, gravy. You can do it with uh, tomatoes or peaches was one of the recipes. How do you do that? Well, you need somebody who's going to be able to innovate, who's going to be able to deal with that, who's going to be able to deal with the fact that whatever was their job when they started university isn't the job that's available when they graduate. And when they graduate five years later, if they haven't grown, they're obsolete. It's not the world I grew up in. It's, it's a very different world. But if I don't help people grow to that space, what are they going to be? Where, what jobs are they going to have? And I think that is a particularly poignant response to the question of what is innovation? Is it's, mm -hmm. it, it's keeping up, but not just keeping up, it's moving beyond and it's, and it's trying to push past kind of especially where technology is headed, but then wrapping in all these other spheres and you said cooking and just, yeah. you know, it's everywhere. Um, and I really appreciate that perspective. That's mm -hmm. really great. I hope you're seeing that here at Global Finals. Oh yeah. And we hope to have you back in the future. And I really appreciate you sitting down and, and talking with us today. Great, I really appreciate this. Thank you very much. Yep. Thanks. For more, go visit DITV at globalfinals.org.